Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reactions for this frame and also to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this K1 frame. This is a frame which is composed of one beam and two vertical members known as the columns. So the column height are 6 meter and 6 meter and the beam length is 8 meter. And there is an uniformly distributed load acting on the beam of 3 kN per meter over the whole length of the beam which is 8 meter. So we are interested to draw the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for this frame. So the first step will be to find out the support reaction. So let's consider this support reaction which is hinge support is represented by A and this roller support is represented by B. Now there is a hinge support, so it will have both support reactions, that is the vertical RA and also the horizontal reaction. But hence, there is no horizontal load acting on this frame, so this component, horizontal component of the A support will be equal to zero. Also there is a roller support, so it will resist only one component which will be the vertical represented by RB. So first of all, we are interested to find out the RA and RB. So for this, we have to take support from the equilibrium equations. There are three equilibrium equations used. The summation of horizontal force is equal to zero. The summation of vertical force is equal to zero. And summation of moment at any point equal to zero. We can use these three equations in order to find out the support reactions. But hence, there is no horizontal force involved in this frame. So that's why we can neglect this equilibrium equation. Also there are two unknown RA and RB so we can also ignore this one because we can use only this equation when we have only one unknown. But here we have two unknowns that's why we cannot use this equation. So the only equation that we can use here to find out the support reactions is the summation of moment at any point equal to zero. Now we assume that the summation of moment let's suppose at point A is equal to zero to find out the support reactions RB and then we can use this equation to find out the support reactions RA. So to go on let's suppose summation of moment at point A equal to zero. At this point the moment summation will be equal to zero and let's suppose the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. This is just our sign assumptions. So now all the moments about point A, so the first load that creates a moment about point A is this uniformly distributed load. This load acting in the downward direction on the beam and it will create moment along the clockwise direction about point A. Since this load is acting downward, so it will create moment in the clockwise direction about point A. So the clockwise taken is positive, so we will have how to find out the moment now about point A for this load. So the load is 3 kN per meter. So 3 kN is the load and distributed over the length of 8 meter, multiply with 8 meter and multiply with the moment term because the moment is equal to the force into moment term. So this is the force, 3 multiplied by 8. We find out the force here which will be acting at this point, at the midpoint of this beam. So 3 into 8 will be equal to 24 kilonewton because this meter meter will be cancelled. So this 24 kilonewton acting at the center of the beam and it will create moment about point in the clockwise direction. So 3 into 8 is the force. Now the moment term is the distance from this force up to point A. So this will be the moment term R and R will be equal to the, the half distance of this beam which is 8 meter. So it means half of the 8 is 4. So this is the moment created by this load. Now the other moment created by the load is the RB reaction and RB is acting in the anti-clockwise direction about point A. So it will be taken as negative. Multiplying it with the momentum because moment is equal to the force into momentum. The momentum for the RB is from this point, B point up to A, which is 8 meter distance. So summation of moment about point A equal to 0. Now if we shift this field into the right side, so 8RB 
when it comes out to be, this becomes 96. So R B comes out to be 96 divided by 8. So R B comes out to be 12 kilonewton. So this is our support reactions here acting at this point which will be 12 kilonewton. Now to find out the support A, now we can use this equation to find out the RA. So summation of vertical forces is equal to 0. And let's assume the upward forces acting are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. This is again our sign assumption. So the upward forces are RA and RB. And downward force is the only force that is acting on the beam. So it will be minus 3 kN per meter distributed over the length of 8 meter. So 3 into 8. Summation of all the vertical forces is equal to 0. So now Re will become equal to, if we shift this volume to the right side, so 3 into 8 comes out to be 24 minus Rb. 24 minus Rb is here 12. So Re comes out to be 12 kN. So the similar resistance will be provided by this support is also 12 kN. So the whole load which was 24 kN is being distributed by this to two supports RA and RB and half of the load will be taken by RB which is 12 and half of the load will be taken by RA which is 12 kN. So the first step was to find out these support reactions. Now we have to go into the shear force and bending moment diagram. Now to start with the shear force and bending moment diagram, first I want to draw the, uh, the free body diagram for this frame. So it will be look it will look like this. And these are the columns. This is the beam. And here again is the column. So now there are support reactions are A and R B 12, 12 kN. So starting from this in, 12 kN is acting in upward direction. So it will be represented like this, 12 kN. Again, at this joint, we will transfer this load 12 kN into this one, but it will act in the opposite direction. So it will be acting in this direction, 12 kN. Now to make this joint in equilibrium, we have to transfer this 12 kN into this point, but in opposite direction. So 12 kN will be take, taken here, 12 kN. And again, we know that there is a load of 3 kN per meter acting on this beam. So, and similarly, taking from this support reactions, which is 12 kN load, again it will be transferred to this point, 12 kN. And again, to make it in equilibrium, this will act in opposite direction to this load, which is 12 kN. So, this is the free body diagram for this frame. So start with the support shear force diagram is there is no literal loads on this column and also on this column there is no load in the horizontal direction so the shear force diagram for these two columns will be zero. So if I draw the lines again here so the shear force will be zero here and also here will be also be zero. This is the shear force diagram for this frame. So we will directly start from this beam because there are no shear forces acting on the two columns. So 12 kN is acting in the upper direction here at this point starting here. So 12 kN. We will move this line up to the 12 units. So this will be 12. kN is the shear force here acting. And then there is a uniformly distributed load acting in the downward direction. How much? 3 kN per meter distributed over the length of 8 meter. So it comes out to be 24. So 12 kN was acting upward. Now minus 3 into 8 is acting downward. So 12 minus 24 comes out to be minus 12. It means that this load makes the shear force equal to minus 12 at this point, at this end. So it will be minus 12 here. So this is, will be negative and this is positive. But its shear force, it's not dependent on the negative and positive. It doesn't matter for the shear force diagram. 
So, this is the shear force diagram with the maximum magnitude of 12 kN here and here 12 kN to the maximum shear force acting at the ends of the beam. Now, with the help of this shear force diagram, we will draw the bending moment diagram for this frame. Again, drawing the uh, free body diagram. This will be the one. If I consider here, these are the columns. This will be the bending moment diagram. Now, bending moment we can draw from the shear force diagram by finding the area of the shear force diagram. Now, we can find the area of this block and area of this block and we can draw its bending moment diagram. For this triangle, we, we know that the height is 12 kN. But what about this base? How much is this distance? So, this we can find it here. So, 12 was acting in upper direction minus and this 3 kN per meter is acting in downward direction minus 3 and multiply with the x equal to 0 because we don't know at which point this force becomes equal to 12 that makes the shear force equal to 0. So we want this point. So 12 minus 3 x equal to 0 we can find out this x distance. So it will become x is equal to 12 divided by 3 equal to 4 meter. So this comes out to be 4 meter. So now we know the height is 12 and base is 4 meter. We can find the area of this triangle which will be equal to the A1 half multiplied with the 12 multiplied with the 4. Because it is a triangle and half base into height will be equal to the area of the triangle. So area will be equal to the, if we find out the area from this, so it will be equal to the 24 kilonewton meter is the area of this triangle which will give us the bending moment value here at this point. So this value is here is 24 kilonewton meter. Now similarly we can find the area of this triangle. We know that the height is minus 12 and the base, this base will be equal to the 8 meter is the total, minus 4 meter is this half so it will be also equal to 4 meter. So the area of this triangle which will be A2 of base into height minus 12 it comes out to be minus 24 kilonewton meter the area of this will be the bending moment value for this here at this point so minus 24 so plus 24 if we subtract from minus 24 it will become zero so the bending moment value here at this both ends of the beam is zero hence this is the way how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for the frame First we have to find out the support reactions and after defining the support reactions we will draw the free body diagram for the frame and then we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for our frame.